Well, butterflies are important pollinators in our ecosystem, but the population is dwindling. That's concerning. CBS's Christiane Benavide shows us some small steps we can take to make a difference. Amy Riley caught the gardening bug years ago. It's actually very therapeutic. People who have it will tell you this is the best thing they've ever done. She's also found another purpose on her one acre lot in Plantation, Florida, helping butterflies. And she spreads the word, teaching classes at a botanical garden on how to create butterfly habitats. What makes a perfect butterfly garden? Having the correct host plant and nectar source. The host plant is what caterpillars eat, and nectar sources are what butterflies eat and drink. Those sources have never been more important. Butterflies are in crisis. A comprehensive study published in the Journal of Science found butterfly abundance in the U.S. plummeted by 22 percent between the years 2000 and 2020. Among the reasons for the decline, pesticides, habitat loss, and rising global temperatures. Nick Haddad is one of the study's co-authors. This decline is catastrophic. We've lost a quarter of butterflies over 20 years. Native butterfly garden. The, the study raised alarms for the director of regional conservation at Fairchild Gardens in Pine Crest, Florida. Yet another wake up call on top of a lot of wake up calls that we've had that biodiversity is really in trouble. The team here is focused on conservation efforts, including their native butterfly garden, a 25,000 square foot conservatory and research laboratories. There's an idea sometimes that nature is separate from humans, but you know, we're part of that too, and something happens over here is going to affect us here. A helping hand to keep these hardworking beauties in business. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Pinecrest.